So this video is about rearranging a board and setting it up from a single type board to a split board. So here's a typical board. You can see a mix of lighting and stationary equipment circuits. So first of all, logically, you would want to manage the board. So the first thing we can do is move ways. So we can grab the, the ways and move them so we can start manipulating the circuits. So we put all our um, stationary equipment loads at one end and lighting circuits the other. I'm not going to pay too much attention at this stage to the balancing. And I'm going to move this way to here. So we can see here then we've got um, a series of ways here. So I'm going to set up the split board. So we've got ways one to four are going to be lighting and then ways five to 12 are small power. And you can see here I've got two spare ways that I could have used on the lighting circuit, but I've got this stationary equipment load on way 5 L3, so I need to drag the other L1 and L2 into the mix. So I need to split the board that way. So first of all, we go to the general information. We then set up the number of sections, and then we set up our isolation we want to apply. And we select the size of the potential isolators we're thinking of using. Selecting OK, and we say we want four sections, in se four ways in section one, and eight ways in section two. OK, that. that puts the split within the board. And then what we can do, of course, is go to each section, lighting. If we want to monitor the current ratings of each type of circuit, down here we have the load category. This is merely for reference purposes. And a bit of advice on this, you might want to on the reference put lighting up here because because when you develop your schedules of your boards, you get the reference there, final DB1 uh, underscore one. You can't really see what that is. So I would probably put the lighting there as well so that when you're in your schedules, you can see that. And apply lighting on here. Okay. We do the same in the other section. power and also and again we put the load category in pull up small power. So we've essentially put our board split now here and you can see as we're adding these uh, RCBOs Sometimes it's ideal to come out of the board and stretch it. So as you start rearranging the board and building the board up, so what I would do here is exit final circuits. OK this. Go into the board and stretch it slightly, because when you do your printouts, you want to be able to read what's going on on each way. And there you can see then you're not getting the overwriting. So as you build up your board, if you get the overwriting, don't worry about it. Come out, stretch it, come back in. When you do your printouts, um, you will see the text correctly aligned in the way information. So you do have the ability to take a single board, split it, but you have to manage it beforehand, put all your stationary equipment and all your small power in one section, and try and group them, um, noting the number of ways in each section. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how you can change from a single to a split board.